Hi, I'm Jeff Fouts, a tax attorney located in Metro Atlanta with a nationwide law practice helping clients who have serious IRS problems. I'd like to share with you another client case study from the thousands of tax clients we've represented. A single man in his early 40s from Dallas, Georgia contacted us because he wants to get back into the tax filing system. He does not remember the last time he filed a tax return. In fact, he may not have filed a tax return since he was a teenager about 25 years ago. Our first step was to obtain signed forms 2848 and 8821 from our client. And what this did was this allowed us to represent our client before the IRS and to request important information from the IRS. The IRS account transcripts indicated that our client owed over $1.5 million for substitute tax returns which the IRS prepared for him for tax years 2001 and 2002. The IRS had no record of receiving any other tax returns from our client. The IRS had the legal right to levy, which means garnish, on his tax debt, and they had also filed a tax return. We requested wage and income transcripts from the IRS for each year back to 2001. The IRS wage and income transcripts for tax years 2001 showed that our client had gross income of close to $2 million in stock sales and other income. Our client did say he confirmed that he had spent that year day trading, but he didn't think he had actually made any money at all. Once his original tax return was prepared, it showed that his income was only $26,000. And the tax he owed for 2001 decreased from $1.5 million to less than $200. Prior to January 1, 2012, investment brokers and stock brokerage firms only had to report the amount of the stock sale itself to the IRS. They didn't have to report what's called the basis or how much you'd originally paid for that. So when the IRS prepared substitute tax returns based upon these 1099B stock sale income reports, they just didn't have any idea what your, what your cost basis was in the stock or the property or anything else, so they ignored it. As of January 1, 2012, investment banker and stock brokerage firms are required to report both the stock sale price and the cost basis on Form 1099-B. Once our client filed all of his tax returns, he owed approximately $22,000. That's, that's not zero, but it's a whole lot less than $1.5 million. He asked us to set up a monthly installment agreement for him and we did that. What's the moral of this story? Even if you haven't filed a tax return in decades, getting back into the tax filing system may not be as difficult as you thought if you have an experienced tax professional helping you. I hope this important client case study has helped you understand the IRS a little better and how tax problems are solved. Chances are you have questions or concerns about your own particular tax problem. I encourage you to pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your questions. Over the past 20 years, I've represented clients in 50 states and 29 foreign countries, and I welcome your call. You can call me at the phone number on this video, or by, you can reach me by email at jfouts at taxhelpattorney.com. I'm Jeff Fouts, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.